Will is the key. Will. Willpower. <laughs> I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I don't know much as you do, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody in here is more learned than I, much more of a scholar than I. But I know about coming back from seemingly unsurmountable odds. I know about coming back from when doctors tell you that you can't or that you shouldn't. Oh, you're too old. You shouldn't be. You should sit down somewhere and take it easy. <laughs> so you should sit down, sir. Because of your diagnosis, and don't do a damn thing. <laughs> Bullshit. Hell no. Every time I go to the doctor, they tell me what I shouldn't be doing, and what I should be doing, and what I won't do, and what I can't do. And I politely go out the do door and do whatever the fuck I want to do. And I'm going to do that until they throw dirt on top of me. This is my life. And I choose to live it the way I want to live it. I won't let you decide how I live this life. I don't care how long or short it is. It's mine, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm going to use it how I see fit. Stories of extreme will. People that came through something or circumstances that they were not supposed to go through. Not supposed, you just ain't supposed to be able to do it. But he did it any goddamn way. <laughs> Possible until some crazy son of a bitch has the audacity to believe that no matter what the expert or the doctor says, I can still do that shit. And if you don't believe it, just sit your ass down over there and watch me do it. What's up, warriors? Good afternoon. Um, Real quick video, real quick. I'm not going to waste too much time on this one, but um, it's just kind of more of a quick tip. If you're, uh, in order to put on size, you have to eat. You know, it just, you have to eat a lot of food. It's just, that's just the way it goes, especially if you're a hard gainer, right? So um, that can be difficult, you know, because especially if you're introducing a lot of carbs. Um, you know, 200 um, grams, 300 grams, 400 grams of carbs per meal. Um, your asshole is not going to love you. Um, you're going to be bloated. Um, your shit's going to be all irregular. You're going to be constantly full. You know, um, a solu quick solution to that is um, introduction of uh, protein shakes. Now, I tried to stay away from this as much as I could just because I simply couldn't justify the price per gram per protein, you know. But um, I broke down and I bought a, a big tub of uh, white isolate, um, which is the isolate is pretty much the best protein you can buy. A little pricey, but well worth it uh, just from a digestion standpoint. Um, so once I started introducing that, um, I wasn't as bloated. Uh, it hardened up my shit. Um, I just felt all around better once I started introducing that. Um, I'll give you a perfect example of one of my meals. I, I think I did videos of it, but I'll give you a detailed um, like description. So my base meal is 50 grams of pasta, 50 grams of potato, 50 grams of chickpeas, 50 grams of broccoli, 15 grams of smoked oysters, um, a half a cup of tomato sauce, a half a slice of cheese, and two hard boiled eggs. 
Um, that gives me 55 grams of protein, 643 calories. Now, sometimes I'll add an extra 50 grams of potatoes or 50 grams of pasta, but I'll only usually have these meals after I train and then usually one more at night. And then usually I'll have three or four shakes up in between there. Now, there's different schools of thought to eat every three hours, to eat every five hours. You know, so what I do is because apparently the way I isolate, it digests a lot easier and quicker. So what I do is I save my uh, pasta, potato, and uh, and beef, ground beef or chicken. I forgot to mark that down. 100 grams of, uh, 100 grams of chicken or, uh, or ground beef. So I save those meals um, for every five hours, five or six hours, and after I train. And the rest of the time, um, I'll have the protein shake. I don't add anything to it, I just use homo milk and uh, one scoop, and that gives me 44 grams of protein and 440 calories, I believe. And it's been working out really, really, really well. I've been able, been able to get my six to eight meals in every day, no problem not feeling bloated, um, it definitely feels really good. So that's my tip on on how you gotta get those, all your meals in. Mm. Um, and the other thing I wanted to do is a quick video on biceps. Um, this will be really quick um, because they're just, there's not really not much to it. Um, first exercise is reverse curls, and the second um, exercise is dumbbell curls. Well, roll up bell curls. And this is how I do them. Well, I'll just show you the pyramid scheme. So, reverse curls. First set, use three liters of water, 42 reps, four liters. 25 reps, five liters, 20 reps, and so on and so forth. Then my regular curls, three liters, 42 reps, and then so on and so forth. So our, our working sets are here, 12, nine, eight, and eight, and 12, 11, and eight. So that gives us eight uh, working sets. Um, even go as high as 10 or 12, but the reason I don't for these is because I do chins. Like when I do those chins, uh, chin ups on the, the rafters there, that puts a lot of pressure on my, uh, on the outside bicep and forearms. So between those two, that's quite a bit of bicep work. If I'm feeling really energetic that day, maybe I'll do an extra couple of sets of regular curls. Like today's a good day. So maybe I'll finish off with that. Just a couple of more working sets. But that's it. And I'll do that every five to seven days. Um, there's really not much to show you on these. I'm just gonna show these real quick. Um, that's heavy. Use a lighter one here. Oh, they're all full of water. Just give me one second. Now I installed um, these rubber uh, clips. You know, they're uh, you can buy them at the hardware store. They just just a rubber thing with these hooks on it, and then I bent the hooks around the handle. Now for reverse curls, Sorry, 
sorry, sorry, sorry. So for reverse curls, I use the handles, I don't use the rubbers, and I come up like this. See how I turn? I'm turning my wrists this way. I'm not doing just like this, because that works your form. This works your forearms. This works. This muscle right here on your bicep. This one right here is called the brachialis or something like that. So this is gonna give you your bicep thickness. So, you know, we're, we got a long way to go. But after a couple of years of this, the bicep's gonna be nice and thick here. You know, it's gonna give this nice little sweep to this. It's gonna make your bicep look a lot thicker. And a lot of people don't do that. They just do simple curls and they forget that there's a little muscle in here well, when it's developed, it makes your biceps really pop. So, with, because with the pails like dumbbells, um, you'll have a lot easier time doing them. So it's in here, right? It's kind of like this motion here, okay? It's not like this. It's like this, okay? And then the dumbbell curls. That's why I put the handles on because my forearm would hit the pail when I bring it up, so I had to put something on it to give me some um, some length, so my forearm would keep hitting the uh, the bucket. But I still have to wear my forearm guards, anyways, for um, the, uh, the reverse curls because my forearms hit here. So when I'm bringing them up and they smash into it, so I have to wear some guards on that. So I just. Uh, Word with my guards. So basically, I just take my my knee wraps and I just put them around like this. That way, it doesn't smash my forearms up. And that's it. You know, control the weight. You know, when you're bringing it up, when you're bringing it down, slow and controlled. You shouldn't have any problems. You know, when I first started working out the Rona pills, my biceps were 15 and a half. You know? And I've been managed to build them up to 18 and a half now. But once I hit the go back to the gym, they'll blow up back to 19 real quick. Just because of the lack of the heavy weight. So um, it is possible to just to build your arms up using rotor pails, you know, very simple. Just those two exercises and you're good to go. Well, that's, I think that's it. Real, real quick video. Um, so like I said, uh, I showed you the pyramid scheme. That, you know, I pretty much do the same thing at the gym as well as that. Uh, I think I do a couple extra sets, so I'd have to check, but very simple. Um, Protein isolate, help you get in those extra meals. So I, like I said, I save the big meal, the hearty food for what, after I train or after I do cardio. Um, but I usually have a shake, but you know, it's really, it's really convenient, uh, especially at night when you get up, it's just, to, you know, ask, your asshole's gonna thank you. Um, if you're one of those people that's locked, lactose intolerant, um, probably don't have a problem with milk, but I guess I'd just try water. But I fucking love, I don't know what it is about milk, but my body loves fucking milk. Loves it. And I'm glad to be back drinking it again. Because I didn't drink any milk for two years, you know. But I couldn't afford it either, too, you know. I can afford, I can afford to eat well now and buy expensive powders, so. 
you know, it's, it's justified. You know, I can really justify buying it now. Uh, before, I couldn't. You know, doing five, six meals, there was no reason to spend that money on that. Not for my needs, but like I said, now we're just, it's all about just getting big as fuck, so it's just so hard to do with that food. Um, it's just so hard. <laughs> Now, you know, um, like I said, depends on what you listen to. Like, if you only eat five, uh, once every five, five hours, then it's possible. But I don't know who to believe. You know, there's people that say every three to four. There's people that say five to six. Well, this study showed this, and this study showed that. So, I don't know who's fucking right. <laughs> you know, I don't know. So, we're going to do them ourselves. And the perfect way to do it ourselves is the way I'm doing it. So three to four meals, good meals with all your vitamins. Like my meal has every fucking vitamin in it. It has a good source of everything in it. That's why I choose it this way. Um, I don't want to take supplements as much, as much as I can avoid it. You know, uh, vitamin C, D, D, and omegas. And I want to get that from my food. I want to get it from a natural source. I don't know what the fuck's in that goddamn bottle. You know, depending on what you listen to their thing. The vitamins, they rip you off like crazy, you know? So, I get all my essential vitamins and everything from my meals and uh, my extra protein from the uh, the way. So we're good to go, you know? I got a good peace of mind about it. I feel great. I tell you, I wasn't feeling good um, um, without the way, so. Yeah, hope this video helps. And uh, yeah, so until I see you guys again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. God bless you all. This episode is brought to you by Six Star, guaranteed to make you big as fuck! And special thanks to you, working hands. It's the shit!